it's your girl Delina and I'm back with another video today I really want to touch on some business tips because I know like people really don't talk about it you know we really don't give tips for people that's trying to start one or like if they're already in it and they need like advice so I got y'all and the first little tip i want to give would be about how people feel like you just need to have so much money to even start a business and that's nowhere near true okay i'm here to tell you it's not true it's about learning how to flip your money that's all it boils down to you can start off with i don't care if you just have five whatever it is you're selling like five items and whatever you spent on it you need to be able to make that back plus more to build inventory over time don't feel like you have to just start off with like <laughs> you're like fully stocked you do not need to be fully stocked when you first start off a business do not let no one put that in your head it's not true if you do be able to do that that's really good for you like i applaud you that was not me in my case i started off with literally four glosses okay literally so you know i tripled my money and i made everything back i've been just you know getting more inventory over time and that's how you do it but the moral of this is i started off my business with not a lot of money i did not have to invest a lot of money i'm going to be completely honest i did not so don't let nobody make you feel like you just have to have so much money okay invest with whatever you have so you can start that business because all that mindset is going to do is hold you back, okay? And you don't want to be like, oh, I'm waiting until I get 500 or I'm waiting until I get 1,000. Whatever you have and you can sell it, do it. Go for it. I'm all for it. Now, the next tip I have would be about don't feel like you need to have everything. Like, you're not going to be perfect when you first come out. You're not, okay? You're just not going to be perfect. You're not going to have the labels. You're not going to have the website. And that's okay. Just go through the process. Trust the process. Don't look at how your friend got it or how uh, your enemy, whatever the case may be, has it. It's not on them. That's on you. It's okay. Like, it's okay not to have it. It's okay. We all have to start off somewhere. I start off with just Cash App. If you're the person right now that has to start off with Cash App and you're still shipping out your orders, you're still doing it up, okay? You're doing a great job, okay? I applaud you, okay? It's okay. You're not going to have everything right now. It's going to take time. Like, it took me almost a year to get my website, you know? And some people, it takes longer, and it's okay. It's your process. There's no rush to it when it's your process. As long as you stay in your lane, that's that's all. You know, don't worry about everybody else. You're not gonna have the label. I don't have labels right now. Whoop de doo. It's okay. As long as your products are good, that's all that matters. So tune everything out. Okay. Now, the next topic I want to talk about would be content because a lot of people feel like content isn't important and actually content is very important okay content is very important content is what gets you the sales kind of in my personal opinion like my content is great and i use the app canva i'm gonna put y'all on if you didn't know if you didn't know great but if you don't try it out you know i'm gonna put a template so i can show y'all how it looked and i feel like it looked amazing it brought attention to my page you know it made it pop and that's what you want you want a popping page okay you want something that brings people in you want those good reviews you want all that so canva will be a good source for it i feel yeah now the next thing i want to discuss would be <sighs> mental health okay because like people really don't talk about that with the business and i feel like you should talk about it because like people are sitting up overwhelmed because they want to give yourself a break and they feel like they can't and you can you're still human just because you have a business don't mean that you don't deserve a break you deserve a break and you need to go get one and if you're in school right now you feel overwhelmed or you have another nine to five that is okay just put it on a calendar so you don't get everything mixed in on the same day because that's the last thing you want to do you know just try your best to do that don't overwhelm yourself give yourself time to 
um, whatever does heal, just breathe, whatever. Go to the beach and chill. Do what you gotta do. It's okay. You're human. Um, so that's really the last of this video. I really don't have any other tips. But if you feel like you want me to touch on something else, I gladly will. So just drop some more stuff in the comments and I got you. Um, but I really hope this video helps someone because um, that's all I want to do. Um, and please let me know if it did because I really feel like I don't help people sometimes. And that's really all I want to do. I'm such a genuine person. Um, I'm always someone you can come to if you ever need anything. I'm not disrespectful. I'm probably the nicest CEO you'll probably meet. <laughs> So, yeah, just let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Um, yeah, we out. See y'all next time. <laughs>